Well, it's day one. Um, you know, it was a pretty long drive up here. About, uh, I don't know, eight and a half hours, maybe nine hours with with uh, a gas stop and uh, some food. Some potty breaks in between. But uh, we finally made it up here. And, uh, you know, uh, we did a little bit of hunting up in the National Forest. Uh, didn't see much. Uh, you know, saw some older deer tracks. Uh, we hiked along a creek bed for a while. We found a deer carcass. It looked like either a uh, a lion or a bear was feeding on it. Uh, um, you know, it was a little uh, forky. But uh, other than that, uh, we saw no living animals, no uh, no bucks, no does, no bears. So there's really not much going on in this area. So we're going to pack up and head out to a different area. I'm not going to give you exact details on the area, but the area we're supposed to be hunting is renowned for record book black tails and uh, huge bears, huge black bears. So I've been seeing some trail cam photos of the area and there's just some massive bucks right now roaming around that area. So that's where we're gonna hunt and uh, we'll see how it goes. I took the whole week off of work, leaves me plenty of time. You know, I, we, we have meat in the freezer right now. So I'm not too concerned about just going out and meat hunting, shooting at anything. I'm looking for quality on this trip, you know, and. Hopefully I find it. Cold outside, wind blowing again. But I don't mind cause I'm heading to my tree stand. It's dark out here. When you're all alone, every little sound that you hear makes you think about home. Well, uh, day two's over. We uh, woke up this morning and it was pretty foggy, a little bit cool, uh, probably about 38, 39 degrees. And... Uh, we uh we went out scouting around and we actually came across a really beautiful Pacific Forky, a two by two. He had a really big body on him, some height to him, but uh you know, run it it's only day two of a five day hunt, and I drove eight out eight, nine hours all the way here to uh look at some trophy bucks and have you know a shot at a trophy buck. So uh, you know, I passed on that deer. It was a good deer. You know, if I was hunting a zone, I would have took that shot without hesitation. But uh, you know, it's only day two. I held off on the shot, and uh, we're gonna look for something bigger. You know, uh, in my mind, that's a that's a day five deer, not a day two deer. So I'm gonna keep on looking and uh, enjoy some of the video that the beautiful Rebecca took of uh, this really nice buck. We were able to sneak up on him about. Uh, 40, 50 yards, and he looked at us, walked around, grazed a little bit, didn't even care that we were there. So enjoy some video. I got my bow in hand, camouflage backpack. Mm -hmm. Bad thoughts run through the back of my mind when I cross the coyote track. November's finally here, the rut is in the air. Looking through the brush, I'm taking one knee. I think he's standing there. Yeah, yeah. This is what I live for. This is what I die for. This is what I eat. Well, it's day three today. Um, we woke up this morning. It was cold. Uh, it was really foggy. And, uh, you know, I think that plays to our benefit especially with it getting so hot during the day. Well, we uh, bumped, uh, you know, a pretty nice little buck. It was a two by three, you know, a short spread, probably about a three-year-old buck. Um, you know, once again, this is day three. I decided to pass on it. Um, you know, a little bit later on, we didn't see anything else. The fog cleared. Uh, we went down to the riverbed, um, walked around for a little bit down there, and uh, 
came across some absolutely huge bear tracks. I mean, they were way bigger than my hand. This was a big bear, and uh, we followed them for a while. It uh, crossed the river, and uh, it went into some private property that uh, I don't have access to. So, you know, just out of curiosity, we went up on a hillside and kind of glassed it a little bit, and uh, we saw the bear. It was an absolutely huge cinnamon bear, probably pushing 400 plus pounds, but, uh, you know, it was about a thousand yards or more out on private property that we didn't have access to. So we couldn't pursue that bear, but, uh, it would have been nice. So, uh, you know, we messed around down there for a little bit and, uh, and really worked hard, uh, driving everywhere, looking everywhere, walking everywhere. Didn't see another buck, didn't see another doe. It, uh, it got really warm. It got up to 85. Um, you know, we got trail cams out. Uh, we're going to see what happens. Uh, you know, hopefully things improve here for us. Never take the hunt from me, no. The sun's trying to come up, red clouds in the sky. Snow is falling, it's a beautiful morning, and a wind is finally dying. Take a look across the field. And my surprise Two those feeding and they're working my way And something is caught their right. Yeah, he's coming out there on the tree line Man, I gotta grab my bow ah! This is what I live for This is what I die for And this is what I eat and breathe Yeah, looking real close You can even see a tree stand in my family Well, uh, got a day four report, um, you know, basically more of the same. It wasn't foggy this morning. It got noticeably hotter today, hit about 87 degrees, um, which, you know, as far north as we are, Northern California, you know, in the middle of October, you know, uh, you know, in the coastal mountain range, you know, it, it, it should be pretty cool right now, but it's not. So I think we're experiencing somewhat of a little mini late season heat wave here, and this isn't good for blacktail hunting. So uh, we hunted around all morning, didn't see a damn thing. No bucks, no does, no fresh sign, nothing. Um, so we decided to head down to the river and do a little bit of fishing. And, uh, you know, that was actually a welcome break from hunting, you know, our Eyes were tired from glassing for four days. You know, uh, you know, it was good to break up the monotony and do a little bit of fishing. Uh, we had a great time fishing. Basically, you know, you throw out a rooster tail, you catch a squawfish on every cast. Didn't see any trout or anything like that, but uh, the squawfish were really fun to catch. Um, you know, you basically had to sight fish them. You'd walk along the river and you'd spot them in the water cast a lure just past them, reel it in really slow, get them to chase and hook them and fight them and release them. You know, it's kind of like bone fishing on the Florida flats. It was a lot of fun. Um, while we were down there, you know, we, we saw eagles, we saw an otter. It was, it was a really good experience for Becca and I. So, uh, you know, we checked the trail cams. Uh, we got a couple of bucks and a bear on the trail cam, but they're uh they're coming late at night early in the morning they're uh you know doesn't seem like anything's moving during the daylight hours so um at this point i believe i'm pretty much done trophy hunting and uh if i see a decent buck like the one i saw this morning or the one we saw yesterday i'll go ahead and uh and harvest it and uh drive home but let's see what happens up in a tall oak tree 
try to take our hunting rights away. You'll never take the hunt from me. No, 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 no. All the way across the grown up field, he's standing 25 yards away. When I rolled out of bed, half asleep this morning, I hope this would be the day. I got my bow pulled back with the string against my cheek, I'm shaking from deep inside. I close my eyes, I pray to God, please, Lord, let this arrow fly. Well, it's day five, and uh, I have to say we're having a little bit of a heat wave here during the day. It's, uh, you know, it's still down near freezing at night, but, uh, you know, it, it, it warmed up to 87 degrees today. And that's not good for deer hunting, especially not for blacktail hunting. And, uh, you know, I, I, I fear that my theory that the deer have gone nocturnal is panning out. Uh, we put out some trail cams the last couple days and we've been getting some hits on some big deer. I mean, we got a massive four by four that probably had a close to a, a two foot spread or more on it. And, uh, you know, he came around at, uh, at one spot at about three o'clock in the morning, but, uh, the deer seems, you know, by all accounts are only being active right now between, uh, about uh, eight o'clock at night and about uh, four or five in the morning and nothing else. So they're fully nocturnal right now. They're not even coming out during the day. So, uh, you know, I think trophy hunting mindset's over now. I'm just going to try to get a really good solid legal buck and uh, take home some meat. You know, I know they're not coming out during the day. So, uh, you know, we're going to have to cover a lot of ground and uh, try to glass or, you know, walk around and buck you know, bump a uh, bedded buck because, uh, you know, finding a bedded buck is probably the only way we're going to get one right now because they're not going to be active right now. And, uh, you know, this is unfortunate, but, uh, you know, this is my last full day of hunting. If, you know, if we don't score today, we might try again one last time tomorrow morning. And then, uh, you know, we have to pack everything up and head out. So wish me luck. Take a look at that tree stand in my family tree. You wanna try to take my hunting rights away? Ah! This is what I live for, this is what I die for, and this is what I eat and breathe. Yeah, they can real close, you can even see a tree stand in my family tree. You can find me about thirty feet high. So it's uh, day six. We went out. We did the best we could this morning. Nothing. Didn't see a damn thing. It, uh, you know, like I said, it looks like the weather got hot. The deer shut down. I uh, lost my opportunity. So I'm going home empty handed. Well, you know, not necessarily. It was actually a great time. You know, a lot of you are going to watch this video and, uh, question my judgment to pass on a couple of nice bucks earlier in the hunt but you know it is what it is you know i i rolled the dice and uh, i came up empty you know sometimes uh you know that's the way gambling is the house always wins and it definitely won here but uh you know in retrospect i wouldn't call this an unsuccessful hunt i mean i i got to go out here and spend some time you know, with, uh, with the love of my life, even in a beautiful though, place. I mean, this is, you know, uh, it was freezing cold in the morning. It was hot as hell during the day. I'm sunburned. 
I have bug bites, you know, from my feet all the way up to the, literally to the top of my head, you know, mainly from uh, mosquitoes and yellow jackets, you know. By the way, I swear if, if, uh, if Satan was ever responsible for creating anything, it would be those damn yellow jackets. Why do those things even exist? But, uh, but anyways, you know, we're, you know, we got bitten to death and it was cold, it was hot. You know, every damn thing out here is just covered in poison oak. I had to deal with that, you know, but, uh, you know, in retrospect, I'd do it all over again if I could, you know, it's better than a day of working and got to spend time out here with my lady, a lot of alone time. It was fantastic, you know, and when you look at things, you know, uh, rather than talking on cell phones, we talk to each other. You know, rather than watching the television, you know, we watch the stars. So I'd say it was a very successful hunt. And as always, thanks for watching my video and good hunting.